Hey guys, it's your girl Radiate by Rachel and it is almost my favorite time of the year. So today I want to show you how to turn this into this using my favorite Mayron products. That's right. We're getting wicked. Starting off, I'm using the Face Smoothie and Mayron Color Blend Sticks in the colors green and org green. I'm using these just like you would cream contour, darker around the perimeter of the face, lighter in the center. And then once I have a pretty even base of this, I'm blending it out with the Face Smoothie. I'm also gonna take a little white cream blend stick and use that where I would concealer. Then I'm mattifying everything with the Color Set Powder. Next, I'm taking their Intense Pressed Pigment in the color Mountain Moss to contour my face. Then I'm using Mayron paradise paint in the color black to give myself some brows. This is a water activated paint, so you do want to dip your brush in water first to activate it. And I'm using another intense shade in the color palm and that same mountain moss shade to give myself a smoky eye. I also use that same white cream blend stick from earlier to carve out a cut crease. And then I'm taking that same paradise paint to give a wing. You do want to blend these in at an angle. That's what gives that beautiful cat eye shade. I love a dramatic eye. You know me. At this point, I decided the neck was driving me insane and I just wanted to wear a turtleneck for the final look. So that's why I wiped it off. Then I finished off the look with some lashes and then I used that same black paradise paint from earlier to create a black lip. But I couldn't stop myself there. So I did add just a little bit of a white highlight to the lip with some edge paint. And that is the final glam look. But if you know me, we didn't just end at glam. So for those of you ghouls and gals who want a little extra this Halloween, you can leave this look here or you can add some 3D gel. I used the Mayron 3D gel and heated it up in the microwave for about 10 seconds then check to see if it was still solid and part of it was. So I put it back in for about six seconds and then the whole thing was liquid. Once it cooled down, I tested it on my hand. And then once I figured out that a spatula worked best to do the drips, I dripped them precisely where I wanted them, let them dry and shaded underneath them with a little shadow. And that my friends is the final, final look. What do you think?